you helping too, Joshua. Good job. <laughs> Dad, can we need to stop Tina? Mm -mm. Nelson, my oldest here, he's kind of been the push behind this. He said, Daddy, when are we going to do more videos again? So I got the idea that if I get another GoPro, we can kind of help each other with this and I don't have to be the only one carrying a camera. And sometimes I don't have to carry one at all. The boys here are kind of why I do what I do. We're going to do this together, right? Right, Joshua? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think our last video went out sometime be just before we built this barn. And then life got busy and we just kind of quit, huh? We kind of missed the summer, but we can get back into it now. Okay, let's give a brief update. How do we go from, in April when we last posted, we had a ton of chickens, we had pigs, cows, beef cows, and a little bit of sheep. And now we're unloading a bunch of sheep. Um, how do we get to that conclusion? What happened in between there? Well, I was pretty convinced that growing vegetables and Selling meat, milk, and eggs is not really going to bring an income. Yeah. And I wasn't sure how we are going to do it all. Right. So. so when I started facing reality and realizing that it's just not going to work for us financially, I started looking at well, what kind of other investments can we make to still keep the end goal of working together as a family or here on the farm. The shepherdess had a video on raising Dorper sheep versus cattle. And after watching that video, it really opened up my eyes and I started look, getting real serious about going in that direction. So was that what gave you the idea? Or is that what It, it was one of the key moments of, yeah, okay. She has, she's very good with statistics and facts and figures. Yeah. She had all the details in there of protein consumption in cows versus sheep. And the other thing is last winter, I realized our beef cows ate their own value in dollars in hay in one winter. I said, that's stupid. Yeah. I could have sold the hay and gotten more for the hay or just as much for the hay as I ended up getting for the cows. <laughs> it makes no sense. Not at all. When I realized that, I'm like, well, why are we doing this? So what are you making there? What are you making there? Cornmeal mush. Mm -hmm. Hope I have 
I have enough. I didn't know I had to. Almost out? Put in how much water? I don't measure. You don't measure? No, I don't. Okay. How is it coming? Um, I ended up heating some water for it. Did you botch it? No. Still good? Yeah. Don't you put salt in it? I did. You already did? Okay. And I'd rather mm, have it. I'm hungry enough I could eat that right now. I know. Mm -hmm. Eat it with milk and honey or what? Um, uh, milk and... That seems like a really odd mixture if you think about it. What? Milk with mush? Yeah. <laughs> Cornmeal mush with milk. Corn, yeah, but that's how we used to eat it. Yeah, we did too. Uh, milk and some kind of sugar or sweetener, yeah. Milk and honey is what we used. Mm -hmm. Oh my word, you're doing the whole thing. I decided I'm going to. You're going to eat so all hungry. that yourself? I am just so hungry for it. I probably could. I'm feeding another one, you know. Ah. Hmm? Dad, Dad, Oh my, what's this good do What's good do? What'd you do? A blood blister? Ouchie, ouchie. When the food gets scarce, feed them cornmeal. <laughs> <laughs> when the food gets scarce. Well, freezers are still full, so we're not quite to that point, but apparently it's a preference. Looks like it. Good, Nelson? Mm -hmm. Jerry? Like? You don't like it? <laughs> what about you, Caleb? Half. You like it? You like it? Half, half and half. <laughs> you like it, Joshua? So we got real serious about sheep and we found a rancher in Texas. They had a group of young ones ready to go. So that's what we ended up getting. Made a flying trip to Texas and here we are. Yeah, I wish we would have recorded that, but we did not. So here we are, this is current. We have fed the 350 ewes all summer since June. So we've had them for a good six months now and we're getting close to start lambing. So that's gonna, I'm sure that's gonna be exciting an exciting time. And we're gonna, uh, our goal is to vlog all that. Our ultimate goal here is work together as a family. And uh, we feel like the farm gives us that opportunity. There's also other opportunities as the boys get older, they can help me on projects off farm more. But for now, with them being younger, it is nice to have stuff here on the farm that we can do together. <laughs> so tired. Oh, it's bedtime. <laughs> well, thank so, you boys for sitting up with us. Are you gonna introduce the new one yet? Oh yeah. So Norbert Eugene, he joined us late summer in September. He's growing pretty fast. Very fast. Almost Getting three, chubby, chubby, three chubby. months old. So we're inviting, inviting anybody who chooses to, to follow along and kind of inviting you into our life, into our home life, into our farm life, and a life of five boys. <laughs> All right, boys, thank you for coming. Thank you for sitting so quietly. You can go to bed now. It's bedtime. Good night, Joshua. Sleep good, buddy. Oh, thank you. I love you.